tip four is a combo tip. It's two for one. Uh, one is the use of user-defined tools in your level. So I have a folder where I can define different tools. So I have a marker, uh, a measuring tool, and a renaming tool. And the marker tool here allows me to define a short description, maybe landscape issue. need to fix issue. And so this allows me to put markers around the level that I come back to and correct those things. The other tool is the measurement tool where I can drop this actor in the world, move the points around to different locations. This keeps it from moving. As you move a point, you'll get new distances based on where that point is in the world. So this allows you to measure off different distances. The third tool is a renaming tool. So this, which you edit as a editor utility widget and execute by right clicking it and hitting run editor utility, you get this window. And if I go in my folder, I've got these three texture files that I don't like the naming convention of. I want it to follow my naming convention. So what I can do is select all three of those. Prefix with a T. Replace normal with N. I have them selected and I can simulate that in the output log to see, okay, ground would be changed to ground N Stone would be there, so those look right. I can come over here and actually do it for real. And now my textures have been renamed and saved under the new naming convention. One other thing in this area to point out is that in our tools, our actors, where under class, no, under class default, no, class settings, sorry, um, you can hide all the categories you don't want seen in the editor. So by hiding those categories, when I look at the details, I only see the categories that I want to show. It's also important in the class, but before I saved it with these things hidden, let's clear out cooking is in my class default under cooking, you wanna make sure it's an editor only actor. So we're gonna check that. That way, when we cook the level, any of the markers or measurements that are still in the level won't be included in our final build. Now we can go to our class settings and rehide cooking. The final part of this tip is actually not in editor at all, but realizing that in your game folder, you can create another folder, mine's called other, and you can store in here any of your concept art, raw materials, notes, stuff that you wanna keep with your game development, but not necessarily in editor. Uh, I keep source models here, texture files, uh, a variety of notes. And that way, when I zip up the entire project, I zip these elements with it. I don't forget to pick those up.